Next up on the Staten Island Express, this one might be tough. 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee, 38,000 miles on it. Customer complaint, uh, he says, in the last couple weeks, this has happened twice. When it's raining, and you know, he's driving around, he's got the wipers on, whatever. The car just goes nuts. Like, the Christmas tree on the dash, it'll start running poorly, shifting harsh. Um, here's the initial scan. He didn't, you know, reset the light or anything. Uh, let's go through, go through the codes here. Turn up the brightness. So this is a full code scan on the Varus. We have 22 systems on this thing. It's almost as bad as a Mercedes, huh? All right, engine. Lost communication with body control module. Lost communication with radio frequency hub. Invalid data received from cruise control module. Lost brake and torque messages. Lost comm with brake system control module one. Lost brake switch message, low speed control message, lost fuel level message, and possible fuel level signal, lost ambient temperature message. Interesting. Transmission. Implausible driver shift register signal received on CAN and DPT CAN stored, CAN C bus stored, lost CAN with ECM PCM, implausible data received from ABS, lost CAN with electric gear shift module, lost CAN with ESM, lost CAN with body control module. ABS codes, can't see bus performance, bus off, stored, lost comma transfer case control module, lost comma TCM and ECM and BCM and steering angle sensor, <laughs> uh, plausible data, vehicle configuration mismatch, torque request signal, airbag, oh my gosh, lost comma with ABS control module, plausible Prindle, lost com. Calm, calm. Body control module, can't see bus off performance. Electric power steering, lost calm with the steering angle sensor. Lost ignition status message. <whistles> Instrument panel cluster again. Holy crap. Uh, Parktronics, radio. Can't see bus off performance, so this can't see seems to be a common theme here. Tire pressure monitor. Wow. I just want to make sure that the Veris saved all of these in the vehicle history because stuff like this you have to document. So there we go scanner engine, transmission. ABS, airbag, BCM. So all the codes are stored in our history, which is awesome. I love how the Varus does this. If only all the scan tools would do this automatically. If you scan a vehicle, just create a little sheet here. Yep. So, where do we begin? A, can we make this act up? B, Obviously, we need a wiring diagram for this network. High speed network. TSB's identifix. Intermittent network problems are the hardest and most time consuming problems to figure out unless there's, you know, a known common problem with these vehicles. That way, you can look it up in a TSB, go right there, do your checks, hopefully, you get lucky. But basically, you know, we could be here all day or we could be here. Well, probably most of the day, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see where this goes. Alrighty, here is the Can C bus. So from the data link connector, pin six and fourteen, they connect to this. It's called a connector star Can C instrument panel. So it's like a splice pack, and on this thing, this is what modern vehicles are coming to. Steering control module, cluster, electronic shift module, limited, uh, let's see, limited slip differential, occupant restraint controller, radio, park assist, that's the top row of this splice pack, 
tire pressure, radio frequency hub, um, forward facing camera, then we have a connection to the second splice pack, and the BCM is on here, body control module, that's like the, uh, kind of the gateway, because that ties into the other uh, networks, <clears throat> the, um, let's see here, IHS, and then there's also LIN, the local interconnect network, but we're worried about the can see the main high speed two wire bus. So on the second splice pack, let's see what we have on this one. Air suspension control, the PCM, we don't care about the three liter, this is a 3.6. Transmission control module, park assist, ABS, active damping control, drivetrain control, power steering pump, lamp assembly right front, <laughs> module adaptive cruise control and I think that's it so what about 20 modules on here this Jeep 38,000 miles it's not really a Jeep anymore it's like a computer on wheels Jeeps are supposed to be like reliable and go places <laughs> not this one so basically I mean just think about it you get a short in one of these wires, the whole network drops down, your car is basically not drivable anymore. That's how bad it is. So this is very failure prone and the diagnostic approach to this, I mean, we can look at flow charts, but you know, you're faced with all of these communication codes and the problem could be anywhere. I mean, this, it's a, you, there's no, even like, there's no direction. It could be a shorted wire, it could be a module pulling something down. The only clue we have is that it happens more when it's raining and wet. I mean, first thing I would do is hook up a breakout ba a box and look at these signals, but what do you do from there? How do you approach this? I think, maybe in this case, Identifix would be a good idea to look at, just, just for, uh, you know, get some direction, because we could be here, like I said, at least all day.